Diffusion is the movement of substances down a concentration gradient. Substances will move from regions where they are in high concentration to regions where they are in low concentration. It is also a passive process, so no extra energy is required for the movement to occur. The net movement of the substance stops once the substance reaches equilibrium. Equilibrium meaning each region has the same concentration of the substance in question. Here is an analogy to help explain the process. If Mr. Pricks passes wind in the corner of a room at a party and releases some sulfuric compounds, they are in a region of high concentration near his backside. The sulfuric compounds, which smell bad by the way, will diffuse to regions where they are in lower concentrations and the guests at the party will start to smell it. We can track the sulfuric compounds as the guests pass out. The guests closer to Mr. Pricks pass out first until the sulfuric compounds spread equally around the room and reach equilibrium. The sulfuric compounds are so thinly spread out now that the smell of the fart goes away. You can also imagine some particles that move randomly. If we have two regions where one region has a higher concentration of particles and we can measure the mass of each region, eventually the particles would diffuse and reach equilibrium and they would have the same mass. Equilibrium has now been reached and there is no net movement. Remember, movement is still happening, it is just equal in both directions. In the context of biology, diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs all the time between cells and the blood. Oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules or particles are so small they can fit through the cell membrane pores. Oxygen is usually always in a lower concentration inside the cells compared to the blood on the outside because the cells use up oxygen during aerobic respiration. The blood is being reoxygenated all the time when it reaches the lungs, so blood oxygen concentration is higher. This means the net movement of oxygen via diffusion is always into the cell. Carbon dioxide is usually always higher in the cells because the cell is producing carbon dioxide as a waste product of aerobic respiration. The blood normally has lower concentrations of carbon dioxide because it is removed from the blood when it reaches the lungs. So, the net movement of carbon dioxide is out of the cell. A practical experiment using visking tubing can also demonstrate how the cell membrane only allows smaller particles through via diffusion. We will revisit this experiment in more detail in the 1.3 topic on digestion. But simply, if you surround the visking tubing with water and place glucose, a small molecule, inside the visking tubing, the glucose will diffuse out into the surrounding water because the glucose particles can fit through the small pores of the visking tubing. If you put starch, a large molecule, inside the visking tubing, you will see no starch in the surrounding water because starch molecules are too big to fit through the pores of the visking tubing. In the next lesson, we will look at osmosis.